Let's jump right into it without wasting time. I'm going to go ahead and try to install LM Studio in Linux and see how it works, if it's easy or what. This is not a scripted video. I have not tested this. It's going to be one of the off-the-cuff things where we just figure out, is it easy or difficult to install LM Studio? And I'm going to accidentally figure out what the prerequisites are and how I'm going to trip over my own feet while I install this. So, do it. I'm at lmstudio.ai. We'll download LM Studio for Linux, which is the beta version. So it looks like it's downloading a .app image file. I've been out of the Linux game for a while. I used to be a system administrator. I just set up this whole Ubuntu computer to play around with AI stuff a while back before I started this channel. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Some of you Linux people who are really into the desktop stuff are probably looking at me right now like, dude. What is an app image? How do I install it? We've all been here before, don't judge me. Okay, so it looks like we need to set the permissions to make it executable. So that's ch mod a plus x lm studio blah 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 dot app image and then dot slash lm studio app image. And it worked. So there you go. We're in lm studio. You can click on search. And one of the things that's really awesome about lm studio is this here is a browser for all the models at Hugging Face. So if you want to type in solar and hit go to get results, we can find the bloke's solar stuff in here. And so we're going right for solar 10.7b instruct v1 ggUF. And if we click on it, it's going to show you all the different specific individual files within that ggUF. And in my case, I like the Q6 for my video card. So I'll go ahead and download that one from here. Something to be aware of in LM Studio if you have a video card is if you go under advanced configuration, you can find GPU settings and pull that down and you're gonna see the GPU offload. The models that LM Studio uses are CPU models but can offload some of the processing to GPU. On my RTX 3080, I tend to use 35 for a setting. You have to put this setting in and the context length and temperature setting before you load the model. And one annoying thing about LM Studio is when you're finished with one chat and you start another one, it makes you load the settings and the model all over again. And another annoying thing about LM Studio is on the context length, you have to look up the context length for that model then enter it in manually. So just some drawbacks. But that's it for this one. Just wanted to just do the installation part. I'll make other videos about using LM Studio. So if you subscribe, this whole entire channel is about running your own AI and open source Linux, either in the cloud or on your home computer, mostly on your home computer. It's mostly an at-home DIY kind of thing. If that interests you, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to do this on a regular basis. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.